Hello there, I'm Mr. Ong here. Today I'm going to show you some of the shortcuts to do some multiplication. Okay, so the first one is we do multiply multiplication of 9. Okay, so if we have 6 times 9, the answer is 54. How you do that? You just need to reduce the number 6 by 1, it becomes 5, and to make it uh, two numbers, the two digits must add up to 9. So the no, what number add to 9 is 4. Very simple as that. The next one is I have 8 times 9. One digit that's less than 8 is going to be 7. And to make up to 9, you have to put a 2. So the answer is 72. That is straightforward. Okay? Good. Next one. Okay, the next one, if we have a two-digit multiplication of 9, for example, 26 times 9, what you need to do, the answer is going to be 2, 3, 4. How I get that? It's very simple. This number 2, I'm going to add a 1, so I can get 3 for that. So 26 minus 3 is going to be 23. And to make it 9, to the last number, this 3 digit must add up to 9, and that number has to be 4. Okay, good. Now we do another example. Sixty-seven times 9. So what you do? You just need to increase the 6 by 1, so it becomes 7, and then you minus 7 from there, it becomes 60. And the last number has to be 3 because these 3 numbers must add up to 9. So that is how you do a 2-digit multiplication of 9. Got it? Good. Well done. Okay. Next, we're going to do a multiplication of 11. 11 is simpler still. If I have 23 times 11, what I do is that the 2 and 3 remain the same at the corner. And I just add 2 and 3 together. So 2 plus 3 and the middle number is 5. Got it? Yes, good. Now we're going to do a more complicated 11 multiplication. For example, 4, 7, 5 times 11. Okay, so 4 and 5 remain. So 4 and 7 is 11. So 1, carry up 1. And then 7 and 5 is 12. 2 carry up 1. So the final answer is going to be 5, 2, 2, 5. Please check the answer because I'm not sure if I'm 100% right. Okay? Okay. Next one. Okay. This is a double two digit multiplication. For example, if I have 27 times 23. How we do that? This will work if the two are the same, the first digit is the same, and the second digit add up to 10. Okay? So what you do, 2 times 2, instead of 2 times 2, you increase by 1. So 2 times 3, the answer is 6. And then 7 times 3 is 21, so 621. Okay? We do a harder example. 78 times 72. So what you do, you increase this number by 1. So 7 times 8 is 56. And then 8 times 2 is 16. So the answer is 5,616. Well done. Okay? So we will continue now. That is... Okay. So far so good? We are done. Okay, so now we shall do a multiplication of 13 times 17. Okay? So now, this trick is that... Okay, maybe not 17, maybe we do 18. Okay? So the first number is the same. Okay, so what you do, you just need to put 130 plus 80, it'll give you 210, and then you multiply 3 by 8 is 24, and add up 234. Okay, good. Now we do another number now. 17 times 19. So 17 plus 90 will give you 260. And 6 times 7 is 63, and it's going to add up to 323. Please check your answers again, because I'm not totally sure. 
Okay, next trick. Okay, the next trick we're going to do is multiplication of 93 times 94. So what you do, you just make the difference to get 100 is minus 7, and to get 100, you minus 6. So the digit is going to be 7 times 6, that will be your last two digits. 7 times 6 is 42, and that will be your last two digits. And then you just add 93 and 94 is going to be 187. The trick is that just delete the 1 and the answer is 8742. Okay? Good. Next one. 98 times 97. To make it 100 is 2. To make 100 is 3. So the final answer is 06. Okay? 2 times 3 is 6. That will be the final answer. And then you add 98 plus 97 is 195. So what happened? You just delete the 1 and the answer is 9506. Okay, good, well done. Okay, last but not least, I'm going to show you a three digit multiplication 107 times 109. What I do is that it's very simple. The first one and one is going to be one, and then you add seven and nine, you're going to add them up, it's 60. And then 7 times 9 is 63. That's all you do. Okay? And we change another number now. 10, maybe 4, and 106. Make a guess. So what it's going to be? The first number is 1. 4 plus 6 is 10. Okay? Just put a 10. 4 times 6 is 24. Please check again. And the last thing I'm going to do is a bit of simple percentages. Suppose you are in a supermarket and you do not have a calculator with you. So I say 40% of $60. So what you do, a shortcut way, you just take away the zero, take away the zero, 4 times 6 is $24. Another one, 20% 20 of $120. So what do you think you do? You take away the zero, take away zero, 2 times 12, that will give you $24. Thank you and have a good day.